We're, we're back, back. We're back. We're back. We're in our hitch, hitch so, mode. Hitch fest. We're hitching. Hitch, we're hitched on to hitch fest. We're going there. It comes. Here comes the car. Uh, maybe if I show some leg next, I'll be like, this is <laughs> the, the birds. Hitch, the yeah, birds. birds. The birds. The birds. Uh, you know, we decided to do a couple scary ones. Halloween time. I guess this will, I, this will actually be the week after Halloween. We just did Psycho, which... Black and white. You know, black 60, and white. This one's 60s too, but it's like later 60s. I think probably like 63 or something like that. No, this one I did look up at 63. Yeah. Because I was uh, I was deciding what I wanted to do, what we are going to watch first. Mm-hmm. And I remember choosing to kind of want to go in order. Mm-hmm. So Psycho was 60 and this was 63. Yeah. And I was like, okay, let's go. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. Hitchcock's like high period. Uh, you know, when he had like Psycho, North by Northwest, Rear Window, Birds, Vertigo. The films that would make his legacy forever. Mm-hmm. Tippi Hedren, the mother of uh, Melanie Griffith. Uh, Hitchcock had like a thing with the blondes. He loved the blonde ladies. So Grace Kelly, mm-hmm. uh, Tippi Hedren, Janet Lee, Eva Marie Saint. We had a type. If he would have been in like the post-2017 era, he would have been canceled. Because supposedly he got a little creep, a little pansy with some of them. You know, and some of the casting couch stuff. There was a little things going on. So luckily he died way before that. Uh, otherwise his legacy would have been ruined uh, i don't know people people be pulling up old shit on that <laughs> i think there's suge- there's suggestions of that but yeah. you know i mean there's no what are they gonna do dig him up and can you know and, interrogate and, him and yell at him you know that's all they can do what can they do he's a dead man I don't know. they keep doing it to michael yeah michael jackson uh, uh, come on michael jackson was a child molester it, it takes it a little further than being a creepy casting couch guy I guess. Child, child molester is like up a tick i definitely have but yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> Yeah, it's like more than up a tick. It's, it's like <laughs> lawyers, child molesters, child murderers, maybe slightly above that. Mm-hmm. And then politicians. And many politicians are lawyers. And tax men. Or, or yeah, I've studied law. IRS agents at the very, I should put this at the bottom of that. At the bottom of hell. That's where the fucking IRS agents the tax go. Man. Uh, let's, let's get into some birds action. By the way, this film has birds in it. So if you have any like bird phobia, just say. Is this gonna, is this gonna be like uh, Jaws where I'm not gonna wanna go in the water? Yeah, I, don't, except, I, don't, I don't wanna go outside and outside be in under a tree. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever hear like a little swallow in a tree, you'll be like, ah! <laughs> I'm ready for it. Is this gonna scar me for life like Jaws? Definitely, did? definitely. <laughs> When until they make the movie The Goldfish, where the goldfish attack people. They jump out of their little aquariums and like okay. attack people at night. Wasn't there a movie called Piranhas or something? Oh, yeah. Supposed to be? yeah. Scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. I wouldn't go near uh, natural bodies of water. I would only swim in pools. I was terrified of piranhas because they kept making it where the piranhas could go now in seawater. It's because they're freshwater fish. Mm-hmm. And like, oh, now they're in the ocean. And no. then they did one where they were in the pool and I was like, well, f- now where do I go? I gotta swim in my bathtub, I guess. And then they'll come through the pipes and kill you there. Yeah, I had a Jaws and Piranha terrify me of bodies of water when I was a kid. Well, I think, I think it's like a please natural, I think especially when you're a kid, it's a natural terror thing to be afraid of being eaten. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think it's like an instinct thing. Mm-hmm. It's like you really are like, I don't want to be eaten by something. I remember swimming in the lake and always thinking I was going to come up with leeches, even mm-hmm. though they weren't it never eaten. worried me. Oh, it did. Now I do think about like brain eating amoebas, you know? Yeah. That's no, a scary sure. thought. That's Union Square, right? Must be. I don't know San Francisco very well. These days it would be littered with tents and junkies. But back in the day. Hello, Mr. Hitchcock. Hello, Mr. Have you ever seen so many gulls? What do you suppose it is? Well, there must be a storm at sea that can drive them in. I don't know. He hasn't arrived yet. Oh, but you said three o'clock. Oh, I know. This will be a full grown mine up there. Full grown. And he'll talk? Well, no, you'll have to teach him to talk. I wonder if you could help me. What? I don't work here, bro. I'm here to pick up a talking bird. Yes, what is it you're looking for, sir? Love birds. As she's only going to be 11, I, I wouldn't want a pair of birds that were too demonstrative. Aren't those love birds? No, those are uh, red birds. Huh? Oh, I yes, we call them that, too. <laughs> she's playing the shit kid. Yeah. <laughs> here we are, love birds. Those canaries. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't this make you feel off? Having all these poor little innocent creatures caged up like this. Are they molting now? Some of them are. I can tell. <laughs> are you sure you wouldn't like to see a canary instead? All right, may I see it, please? Oh! oh. Hello. <laughs> He's just like... Let me watch this buffoonery happen. 
place. Back in your gilded cage, Melanie Daniels. How did you know my name? A little birdie told me. I don't know you. Ah, uh, but I know you. How? We met in court. Don't you remember one of your practical jokes that resulted in the smashing of a plate glass window? Well, you knew I didn't work here. You deliberately... Right. I recognized you when I came in. I just thought you might like to know what it's like to be on the other end of a gag. What do you think of that? I think you're a louse. Who was that man? No, oh, she's intrigued. Mm-hmm. See, that's that whole... That's a beautiful question, That's that too. whole uh, negging thing, you know? Oh, Maybe yeah. a little negative to him, and then she's, like, all intrigued about you. Would you call the Department of Motor Vehicles for me? Find out who owns this license plate. Do you have any lovebirds? No, not in the shop. Well, I could probably have them here by tomorrow morning. Would that be all right? Just fine. She's out here scheming. Lovebirds just look like parrots to me. Is that for Mitch Brenner? Yeah, dummy. Uh, he won't be back until Monday. I mean, if those birds are for him. Monday? Where did he go? Bodega Bay. He goes there every weekend. <laughs> Rude. He's <laughs> looking her all up and down. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe I him. I think he's just looking at her clothes because I think that guy's gay. <laughs> nice. That's uh, great. That's so <laughs> She's going way out of her way to uh, prove a point. She's a girl who's used to getting what she wants. Actually, one of my favorite things is to take the train up the coast. You and your f***ing trains and buses. What the f***? Americans like driving in cars. I'm looking for a man named Mitchell Brenner. Yeah, can you get an address, bro? Come on. I love how this guy has like a main accent. See where I'm pointing? Where I'm pointing? Yes. At the White House? Yes. That's that color where the looks so live. amazing. How do I get down there? Well, you follow the road around. It's like they the use bay. a specific light or filter right just for. You see, I want to surprise them. You could get yourself a boat and cut right across the bay to their dock. Want me to order one for you? Well, thank you. Yeah. The little girl's name. Uh, Alice, I think. Harry, what's the little Brenner girl's name? Lois. Alice, ain't it? No, it's Lois. It's Alice. <laughs> well, Are you sure? Uh, just hold on one more minute, please. This guy's like... In that case, I'll tell you what you do. That's where Annie Hayworth, the school teacher, lives. You ask her about the little Brenner girl. Well, the man at the post office sent me. He said you could tell me the name of the little Brenner girl. Kathy Brenner. He seemed sure it was either Alice or Lois. Which is why the mail never gets delivered to the right place in this town. Uh -huh. Cat, not even close. Not even close. Are you a friend of Mitch's? Ooh, nice. No, not really. Are you planning on staying long? No, just a few hours. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound so mysterious. I'm up here to pull a prank. Actually, it's none of my business. That's true. Is that where you met it? Mitch? Yes. I guess that's where everyone meets Mitch. Now, you sound a bit mysterious, Miss Hayward. I don't mean to. What are they? Lovebirds. I see. So much subtext no, in that no, conversation. Seriously. Like, all over. How do you know it's not with a K? No offense. Oh, huh? no. Nope. She's okay. capable. They're easy to operate. Then she can crank it once she's past the marker. <laughs> nice projector screen. Mm -hmm. And then they just float the boat. Hitchcock did a movie called Lifeboat where the whole whole damn movie takes place on a life but life raft. The whole movie looks like that. Was it one of his more campier ones or pretty no, well No, it's actually pretty decent. It's like set during wartime. Yeah, she's lucky she's sweet because this would be the weirdest thing. <laughs> Have this woman just show this up at my just, But this is her just like being kind of like, ha ha, I got you. Yeah. Oh, and you're just going to walk in? Just walk in the door. Wow. <laughs> She's a bold person. And of course, where they live, they don't lock their doors, especially in this time. No. Nobody, nobody locks their doors. Yeah, and that's why they'll be killed. You got to take it off the thing. You got to take it. You didn't un... Oh, there you go. She knows what she's doing. Don't tell this woman. She's a natural <laughs> sailor. Look at her. She's got the pat, knows the pat, yeah, no, and a, everything. She's, she's a natural spy-like creep who <laughs> drops off love for she's, a man she doesn't know. She knows what she's doing. Well, she's getting a kick out of this. There you are. Is <laughs> that... <laughs> Playing games. I know, seriously. Why don't you two just bone and get it over with? Mm -hmm. She's she's enjoying this way too much. Mm -hmm. She should. She's kind of like checkmate. Checkmate. I bought you birds. <laughs> <laughs> I tracked down the name of your daughter and left her lovebirds before you could. Ooh. Well, that's not good. All right. Yes, I think so. That's the damnest thing I ever saw. I don't know. It seemed to swoop down at you deliberately. <laughs> I love the nosy small town. Everyone's just like... <laughs> looking at her. Like a record scratch. <laughs> so you're a lawyer. 
course, I usually defend people, Mr. Interesting. Well, prosecuting. Well, do you practice here? What are you doing up here? Pranking you. Didn't you see the lovebirds? Came all this way to bring me those birds. Besides, I was coming up anyway to see a friend of mine. Who's your friend? Annie Hayward. A small world. We went to school together. I think he came up to see me. Now, why would I want to see you of all people? She must have gone to a lot of trouble to find out who I was and where I lived. Oh, it was no trouble at all. I simply called my father's newspaper. You really liked me, huh? I loathe you. Hmm. I wrote you a letter about it, in fact, but I tore it up. Uh, Mother, I'd like you to meet Melanie Daniels. Miss Daniels, my mother. Miss Daniels brought us some birds from San Francisco for Kathy for her birthday. As a matter of fact, Miss Daniels is staying up here for the weekend, so I've um, already invited her for dinner. You did say birds. Yes, love birds. Oh, I see. Well, that was interesting. Well, then it's all settled. What time is dinner, Mother? Seven o'clock, the same as usual. Maybe. We'll be waiting for you. Mom's not happy either. No. Uh, that sign there. Do you suppose I could have the room for just a single night? Got your bags in the car? You see, I hadn't planned on staying very long. Yes, I know. Don't they ever stop migrating? Yep, pretty much what birds do. I don't know what it is, but Hayworth has such a captivating look. Yeah, Suzanne Plachette, like her eyes are just so yes. blue and contrasty yeah, to her hair. Her, yeah, and like the like she's got like a unique shape to her face that's like full but thin. She looks kind of like Elizabeth Taylor a little bit, I think. Yes! Oh, they're beautiful. They're just what I wanted. We've been out back looking at the chickens. Something seems to be wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with those chickens, Mitch. The chickens won't eat. Of course you did. Seven o'clock. We all have dinner. That feed you sold me is no good. Fun. Well, it's just no good. The chickens won't eat it. They're always hungry. No, they're not fussy chickens. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Well, maybe I'd better go over and see him. You don't think they're getting sick, do you, Mitch? He has a client now who shot his wife in the head six times. Jeez. Six times. Why did he shoot her? He was watching a ball game on television. What? His wife changed the channel. <laughs> he kept Mitch just like, he was justified. Oh, won't you come? I don't think so. Breaking her heart. I know. She's very rich, isn't she? The father's part owner of one of the big newspapers in San Francisco. You think he could manage to keep her name out of print? She's always mentioned in the columns, Mitch. She is the one who jumped into a fountain in Rome last summer, isn't she? Actually, the newspaper said she was naked. Yes, I know, dear. I think I can handle Melanie Daniels by myself. I think Plus Suzanne Plouchet would make a much better match. I was like, is Jessica Tandy ever young? She's like always old in movies, no matter what. Mother tells me I like to swim. How does Mother know what I like to do? I guess we read the same gossip columns. Mm. Oh, that. Rome I interested. I was pushed into that fountain. Without any clothes on. Mm. With all my clothes on. And you didn't come up here to see her? No. You were lying. Yes, I was lying. What about the letter you wrote me? Is that a lie, too? Yeah, I wrote the letter. It said, Dear Mr. Brenner, I think you need these lovebirds after all. They may help your personality. That's what it said. But you tore it up. I'd still like to see you. Why? I think it might be fun. What do you want? I want to go through life jumping into fountains naked. Good night. The tennis match banter from these period is so great. Uh, we're getting more and more ominous. Ominous. Um, Mr. Daniels, is that you? Yes. Well, I certainly hope so. I know, right? People just walk into here. <laughs> Would you like some brandy? Yes. Yes, please. Well, how did your evening go? Did you meet Lydia? Or would you rather I change the subject? How did you happen to come up here? A friend invited me up for a weekend a long time ago. Mm, okay, I see no reason friend. for being coy about this. It was Mitch Brenner. I guess you knew that anyway. It's been over and done with a long time ago. When I got back to San Francisco, I spent days trying to figure out exactly what I'd done to displease her. Existed and went after her son? Nothing. I simply existed. <laughs> That's <laughs> cool. Jealous woman, right? Now that I'm no longer a threat, we're very good friends. Why did she object to you? Because she was afraid. Oh, yeah, so impressive. Afraid the, you'd take the glow. It's just <sighs> afraid of any woman who would give Mitch the one thing Lydia can give him. Yeah, just gorgeous. Love. Someone ought to tell her she'd be gaining a daughter. <laughs> no. She already has one. She already has a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> are you writing, writing the script as we go? We both knew it was over. Then what are you doing here in Bodega Bay? I wanted to be near Mitch. You see, I still like him a hell of a lot. You're hoping he'll change his mind and more like... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's Mitch. For you. Nice. Fine, mm -hmm. thank you. Deep. No, 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 no diopter, just... Wait, F-16. Yeah, right? That means they're blasting light in there. That's very yeah. kind of you. No, I'm not angry. That's gorgeous. All right, yes, I'll be there. Love it. He wants me to go to Kathy's party tomorrow afternoon. I'll be there too to help. No, it's really up to Lydia, isn't it? Never mind, Lydia. Do you want to go? Yes. Then go. Someone there? Who is it? Look. Poor thing. Probably lost his way in the dark. But it isn't dark, Annie. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Look at this painting back here. What do you think of that? See, look how this is just so studio. 
Oh, yeah, totally. A lot of roast beef left over. No, I couldn't possibly. I have to get back. Yeah, you keep saying that. I know. What's so important in San Francisco? Well, I have to get to work tomorrow morning, for one thing. You work? You have a job? Well, there you go. Well, I'm doing it. <laughs> now you're... <laughs> what? Idle rich. Yeah, yeah, great. Well, there you go. It's very easy to get lost there. What about Fridays? Fridays? They're free. I sometimes go to bird shops on Fridays. I'm very glad you do. I feel bad for her. Carrying a torch for that guy. Yeah. Sad. And she's better looking than Tippy. Oh. Hey! Oh. They going cray cray. Wait, were, were they hitting a pinata, right? What were they doing? They, they ain't got bats or nothing? <laughs> Birds are hella tripping. What did she say? What a scene. Well, Jenny got a scratch down her cheek, but it's nothing. That makes three times. Mitch, this isn't usual, is it? Mitch, what's happening? <laughs> One bird is just like... Kling, 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 kling. <laughs> That'd be me. Show me your faces! Show me your eyes! Oh, how did they pull this off? They're just layering... There are real ones in there. Yeah. Okay. There's some fake ones there. There you go. The ones in the foreground are fake. Yeah, exactly. I'd be grabbing a tennis racket. <laughs> <laughs> I own two rackets. I'd be double. <laughs> you come out like some ninja. You'd be like, <laughs> see, that's real. Yeah, that, yeah. Instead of fruit hmm. ninja and be well, bird, a bird ninja. All right. did, did he, did he, it's, it's a sparrow, all right. I don't think I get you, Minch. Do about what? The birds that flew into my. Rest yeah. them, clearly. Tell them about the party. Yeah. In the middle of the party, some seagulls came down at the children. Were the kids bothering the birds or something? No. Because if you make any Talk kind. about blaming the victim. I know. <laughs> True story. Well, anything else I can do, Mitch? No. You've done nothing. What do you mean, anything else? <laughs> you, like, pick the bird up, you're like, yep, it's, it's a bird. A bird. <laughs> Who wears nightgowns like that anymore? I mean, she, do you she, wear pajamas? She, she bought it from a general store. You I seem like wear, a pajamas I person. I do wear pajamas. I never wear those. It's too hot. Dad, are you home? They don't like the China. Everybody just walking into everybody's house. Oof. Damn. <gasps> Oops. Damn. Oh. Oh, what a way to go. Mother. <laughs> what is it, dear? What's the matter? I was just taking your mother in some tea. Ooh. Be intimate. careful, please. Fast love. Three days in. They were in love when they were in the pet store. That's true. Although I'd still rather... Nice follow Annie. Back. Annie all day. Mm -hmm. I'm Team Annie as well. I'm Team Annie for sure. <laughs> team Annie. Team Annie. <laughs> if anybody's out there as Team Tippy, let us know. Or maybe some like a more mature woman. Team Jessica Tandy is also an option. There you go. Or perhaps you prefer men. Team Mitch. Do you think Kathy's all right at the school? Yes, I'm sure she's fine. I feel as if I don't understand you at all. And I, I want so much to understand. Why, Mrs. Pender? Because my son seems to be very fond of you. Mitch is important to me. I want to like whatever girl he chooses. I don't think I can bear to be left alone. <laughs> Do you think she's all right at the school? Would you like me to go for her? Would you? If I know all these birds are this crazy, I would not be taking a roof off. <laughs> Put that roof up. What did she mouth her? Oh, they're almost done? Yeah. Okay. She really has been wearing the same thing for <laughs> yeah. three days now. It's like B.O. Stinking man. Well, have you ever worn like the same briefs for like four days in a row? Oh, yeah, definitely. And it's like streaks in there and it smells like, you know, shit. Uh, okay. We went from two to four pretty quick. You were probably not going to pay any attention to this because, uh, five. That really, I wonder if they're using just like a black proness filter, but it just has such a. Right, get back in that school. Holy shit. No, no, no. no, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. There was like eight. No, I wonder how they got them to all sit like that. Too. Definitely a lot of training. Well, crows are the smartest ones. I said. We are not going into the playground until everybody has quieted down. Uh, don't go outside. We've got to get the children out of here. Close them blinds. Miss Daniels would like to see how we conduct ourselves during a fire drill. I want you to go as quietly as possible. Do not make a sound until I tell you to run. Oh man, they must have had like five or six wranglers. Maybe even more. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, no, for sure. God, the amount of shit that would be on that set. Yo. Oh, no. Yeah, so they're doing a lot of this practically. There's a projection, too. Some kind of bird action. Yeah, it's a real bird. Or a robotic one or something. I think uh, they have robotic birds on this, too. Okay. 
I'm pulling for the birds. <laughs> Apparently. I'm pulling for them. Take out that redhead kid. <laughs> Take him out. As soon as he popped on screen. All like, redheads <laughs> must die. All the gingers. Yeah, oh, and the broken. kids with glasses, too. Have you guys ever heard of a shotgun? I could take care of like 10 of them at once. No, I'm not hysterical. I'm trying to tell you this as calmly as I know how. Well, just now, not 15 minutes ago. Crows, I think. Crows? Well, I don't know, Daddy. Crows. Is there a difference between crows and blackbirds? That is yes, very there's... definitely a difference, yep. miss. Thank you. <laughs> They're different, Daddy. The crow is Corvus bracorhynchus, and the blackbird is Euphagus cyanocephagus. Thank you, local ornithologist. <laughs> I love that you know that they're called ornithologists. <laughs> That's what they're called. Could be a bird watcher, I suppose. Uh, their brain pans are not big enough. Ornithology happens to be my avocation. <laughs> Birds are not aggressive creatures, miss. And this young lady said there was an attack on the school. Impossible. Terrible, isn't it's it? the end of the world. <laughs> Two bloody Mary's D. Thus saith the Lord God unto the mountains and the hills and the rivers and the valleys. I hardly think a few birds are going to bring about the end of the world. Have you had trouble with gulls? One of my boats did last week. Could you ask them to lower their voices, please? They're frightening the children. They're frightening the children. No, they're frightening you. The gulls were after your fish, Mr. Shows. What were the crows after at the school? What do you think they were after? I think they were after the children. For what purpose? To kill them. Why? Gulls are scavengers anyway, most birds are. Get yourselves guns and wipe them off the face of the earth. Jesus, bro. <laughs> Opinionated. Well, kill them all, get rid of a messy animal. It's the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> are the birds going to eat us, Mommy? Yes. We I keep forget. telling you, this isn't a few birds. These are gulls, crows, swifts. I have never known known birds of different species to flock together. Right. If that happened, we wouldn't have a chance. I'm glad you all think this is so amusing. Right? The children half out of their wits. If the young lady said she saw the attack at a school, why don't you believe her? What's the fastest way to San Francisco? The freeway, ma'am. How do I find it? I'm going out that way, lady. You can follow me. Are you coming? Now take it easy, lady. There isn't a bird anywhere in sight. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap. It's your heavenly father feeds them. <laughs> this guy's making the most of his f***ing <laughs> little He's gonna say the same thing. He <laughs> is really letting it go. I'm leaving. Are you coming? All right, all right. Little jinky poo. It's the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that's, um, guys, there's a, there's, there's a, nobody smoke. I think so standing there, you should say something. Uh, <laughs> cigar man, of course. Of course. Watch out! Oof. Wow. Attack! Get them! You believe me now, old woman? Is that gonna explode in that too? Uh, probably. You should have just stayed in the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, you no, should have stayed in the restaurant. No. Oh my god. What Close do you it. do? Ugh. Could spray him with the hoses and knock him down. Yeah, a bit. also, you got axes. <laughs> That was a nice little interception. Yeah. She got a stiff arm. It was a stiff arm. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Into the restaurant that's two feet away. That he that she never should have left in the first yeah, place. Yeah, Everybody always does the wrong thing in these types of movies. You that's know that. true. See, there's some smart people. Uh, ornithologist yeah, old, lady is like, uh, I can't explain this. You old bat. You believe me now? Why are they doing this? They said when you got here, the whole thing started. No, because the other Why? guy said a week ago. The birds what were. are you? Where did you come from? I think you're the cause of all this. I think you're evil. Evil! Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Next time, this way. <laughs> yes, exactly. That was great, too, because, like, the closer she got, yeah, she yeah. Bot bottom litter, and it's just evil! It's happening before because the guy said it happened a week ago. Yeah. They attacked his boat. She got nothing to do with it. Oh, that'd be so creepy, bro. Oh, no. Who didn't make it? Oh! <gasps> Annie. Oh, no. no! Stay here, stay, stay here. You didn't stay there. Ah! I told you to stay there. Where's Kathy? Traumatized for life? <laughs> Are you going to get a gun now? Come on, man. No, don't do Mitch, that. Don't. don't do Bro, I'm not Team Bird no more. Well, not Annie. Team Team Bird is out now that they took out Team Annie. God, the, the sound of them in the back is just... It's like this weird echo effect on, <laughs> the, the, birds, yeah. on the bird sound. It's very effective, I'm just saying. Actually, crows calling is like pretty loud. Thank you, finally. That girl's gonna need years of therapy. <laughs> All at once she pushed me inside and they covered her. 
She <laughs> grabbed you and run inside herself. I don't know if I can be team dumb human. Like, I don't know. I might still have to be team bird. They strike, then disappear, and then start massing again. I'm getting something on the radio. In Bodega Bay early this morning, a large flock of crows attacked a group of children who Great were leaving framing. school Love during that. a fire drill. Love that. Was that all? When do you think they'll come? I don't know. If there are bigger birds, Mitch, they'll get into the house. Well, it's just a chance we'll have to take. Maybe we ought to leave. I don't know. I think we're safe here for the time, Mitch. You don't know! You don't know! When will you know? We were all dead! I got it! What your father you with here! I'm sorry, Mitch. Oof. That escalated really quickly. Really quickly. Arm yourself. There's got to be better weapons. I know, but I'm just going out. Tennis racket actually was a good idea because you hit like four or five oh, yeah. of them at once. No, no, for sure. You can forget me with that tea action. Give me a scotch. Oh, yeah, really. <laughs> Something with some kick to it. Man. Yeah, really. The girl should be smoking a cigarette over there. <laughs> yeah, right. She's, like everybody should be smoking. Right she starts right now. Oof. Nice. Yeah, I mean, that might be a split diopter. I don't see any fuzz. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just all wide open. She's not that far behind. They could have it at like eight and she'd be in focus. That's true. It's like a little soft on him and more on focus on Jessica Tandy. I'm sick, Melanie. Ooh, little Dutch. Dutch yeah. Ooh, for the fluttering sound of a wing. Craft, they do sound like play. <laughs> but, but you know what? If you did like a, if you went to like an inner closet or something, you know, that'd be pretty good protection. Yeah. Oh yeah, that sound alone, fuck, bro. <laughs> Oh, damn, bro. That was a real looking bird. That was That's real, awesome. Yeah. Are they pecking through the door? Also another great. That bird looks real. Or just really good puppetry. No, those are birds. Those, those are real are birds. birds. Uh, what are you trying? Oh, he's trying to grab the, yeah, the shutters. The, the, the shutters. Oh, what? Damn. Damn. Kid. Can somebody help this bro out? That bird was like, boom. <laughs> Cute. Oh, there we go. That's something. Oh, wow. You got to know. A mattress, something, bro. Come on, there you go. And nail it to that thing. I know, seriously. All right, maybe I am team Mitch, because he's being pretty smart. Nail faster. Don't put the goddamn hammer down. Use the hammer. Wow, that was awesome. That light change. All right, place it on a flashlight. That's great. Keep going. Nice lighting. Oh, God, it's going to be a pullback to all three of them. It's creepy. Yeah, yeah boom. Nah, I hate. That's a nice shot. That's a very nice poster. Those yeah. doors are like balsa wood. They're like, schnick, 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 schnick. <laughs> Pieces of it flying everywhere. Mitch. To be. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Dead quiet. I know. It's, it's, oh. Not even footsteps. Just like room tone silence. It's, oh. And the bird flapping around. I know it's a scary movie, but guys, can we take anything with you? Just any? Oh, no, don't. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Ignore the fluttering. Let's go right back. Woman, if you do not take your happy butt. Oh, and you locked yourself in. <sighs> get on. Get on. Get on. Get on and get out. Oof. Well, you got one of them. Nope, they got you. Oh, God. So painful and so horrendous. Melanie! Melanie! Yeah, her up. They're f***ing her up. Mitch. Hurry up, Mitch. All right, Mom. All right, Mom. She's starting to pull her weight. It's like a sack of potatoes. What else can he do? You got those things slashing your face. No, no, I... I... Those are some angry birds. <laughs> Put a boom. Yep, exactly, exactly. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> We've got to get her to a hospital. There's no place we can go. There's San Francisco. We can't stay here. She needs help. I don't know what's outside there. Angry ass birds. We better get right. started before another attack comes. Whoa. Oh. Hell no. Oh, hell no. Take the flashlight. Just hit them with something. Also, don't go outside. <laughs> don't go outside, bro. Get, go, no. Sorry for you. I hope the antiseptic does enough. Nope. Nope. Oh, hell, she, oh. So many Wranglers. A lot of them are like fake birds. See all those yeah. ones in the middle there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not, I mean, he needs yeah. a couple of them moving to sell it.
Yeah, so they definitely are they're doing this killing thing in waves. Haven't made it. And then get all three of them oh, quietly really? into the car. The bird attacks have subsided for the time being. Bodega Bay seems to be the center, though there's been some discussion as to whether the military should go in. Yeah. <laughs> it appears that the bird attacks come in waves with long intervals between. The reason for this does not seem clear as yet. Because they get tired. Being pissed off and attacking takes energy, dude. Oh my god, it's just it's so many damn birds. <laughs> There's a lot of birds. Like I know he doesn't want to provoke him, so he's being slow. But I feel like I would just be like. He <laughs> said Bodega Bay is the center of this thing. It seems their house is the center of this thing. At this point, just gonna walk in my house and get my tattered ass girlfriend. <laughs> she looks like catatonic. He's in shock. I love that he's he's not afraid to go into black. It's natural. And then they come back. And then they come right back. Beautiful shot. <sighs> Beautiful shot. But seriously, man, every time they open a door, it's just. <laughs> No. Shh, shh, no. Shh, shh, shut up. Shut up. Go back to being catatonic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Where's your daughter, your sister? Yeah, where is she? They've left her. <laughs> I mean, I know they have to worry about her, but. Mitch. What Mitch. are you? Can I bring the leopards, Mitch? No. No. They haven't harmed anyone. Oh, all right, bring them. Oh. Well, I guess this is a good way to break through to the mother because it's a, it's a great bonding moment. Yeah, because they For survived sure. this trauma. Drive like you've never driven before, bro. Oh, now he obeys the speed limit. <laughs> I think he's trying to not upset them. It, yeah, no, no, for sure. I get it. It's... So I don't know if you remember the episode, but in The Simpsons, I don't know if it was a Treehouse of Horrors thing or, or not, but the, the reference was they go to the Ayn Rand nursery school and all the children get their pacifiers taken and put in a box. And then Maggie and the other babies like team up to get their pacifiers back. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. And then they all get them back. And then Homer comes to pick them up and they're all sucking on the pacifiers. And he's like, there's like, he comes in and they're like the birds. They're like all laid out going. Oh, sucking, the sucking on the pacifiers. Walks through them like super gently to pick up Maggie and take her out. That was, that was crazy. Again, starts arts off very yeah, different slow, like, it's, slow, it's, it's, slow 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 build but it's also it's like it's romantic comedy she's gonna go yeah. win a guy over the weekend it's and like, <laughs> what is this movie about and then like all of a sudden go hit your head it's, and then the whole thing starts kind of falling apart falling apart still being sweet and having all this like subplot of like and you the, gotta win over the mother and you the gotta bird attacks yeah. become progressively yeah, worse yeah, yeah sure, like more dangerous sure. you know these the birthday party is the first one and then Cre on creature earth. features were like a big thing you know it's okay. like so you have like these movies about radioactive ants and or something that grow to 50 feet away i think it was kind of a a genre subgenre sci-fi that shot of hell the, no. that shot of the crows when she's like there smoking and she doesn't see them outside the school gather. Oh, it's like, it's like one comes five are there yep eight or there but they leave that and shot she, sees, like she sees that one flying across and she's like where's that going oh now there's seven thousand of them right behind me i didn't happen to notice them before that build was so that was great. good you know they're very specific on when they use the the fluttering yeah. i always think used to think that the the attack on the town was the scariest but then again now i really do think that that sort of final attack on the house with the birds pecking through that shit they were doing through the windows was rough man yeah. it's, like he he looked like he was handling real gulls and that they were back pecking and they were really the pecking shit out of him. yeah yeah that shit was like pretty intense and it's coming from all corners right so he's over here trying to stop then, this one yeah. and then down the hall they're trying to like literally like peck their way through an already boarded then, up door and then using that sound of them massing over them Great. was like was it oh. it was the same way to achieve what they did with the crows but but not see it and then they're all there just like where are they? Where are yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Like they, they can just it. tell the roof is covered in birds. Yeah. And the, 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 the few that have tried to get in doesn't even match well, what's, scary. what's really happening. Because by the time you get upstairs, now you realize they've been sitting there like finding a way in. I do think that when he comes out of the house, though, and you first see like it's just birds everywhere, you're like, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Back no. inside. <laughs> But for the most part, it seemed to be like it was gulls, bigger birds. Yeah, yeah. it was the gull. But that was that was. Thank the one God it wasn't eagles. Then it would have been a shit show. Like I've never seen a bald eagle before. I went to Alaska and then I went there and they were everywhere. Yeah, I remember no, there's dude, like there's... movies like this. There's movies like the ants, movies like Antia, killer Antia, bees, Antia, uh, piranha Antia, movies. Antia, yeah, this is it. Built a lot of suspense and it's, it's well a done. simple thing, but it's just like again, you you put that many of something in front of you and you already know that they're d they're deadly and murderous it's just like i think what hitchcock does really well is he kind of lulls you to sleep 
Totally. You get involved with this whole back and forth love story with him and Melanie. Your like, mother story and the yeah, yeah. You everything. just you're just like you love. You're Annie kind of like you when love is, the relationship. You're kind of like when is this movie gonna get scary? And then all of a sudden it's like oh the movie is switched now it's about birds attacking. Yeah. You know and it's like we have to get out of here type of deal. But you are enjoying. I mean you you're very uh, connected ingratiated with the characters. You 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 get to know them and like or hate them and then oh yeah this is a this is a suspense horror movie and people are gonna die i the bro the annie one hit hard i mean i get i get it why it's like you know you want to have stakes as well clearly hitchcock has a thing for tippy hedron mm -hmm. and wants to keep her alive but yeah i we, we both had a thing for annie i didn't thought she would you know she's like our marianne you know instead mm -hmm. of ginger mm -hmm. um, everybody should love ginger but yeah. marianne's she's like the girl next door yeah. and that woman was like you're evil you know it's like but that that whole scene is great that had to have been like 15 minutes yeah long where she's like talking with the ornithologist and then it's the end of the world it's the end of the world that guy well, in the background and, yeah and we and open that like, scene with her on the phone, on the phone yeah and giving this exposition to her dad and it just like keeps it's going, going. It's like, and you know, it, but like every, more characters it's chime funny in how like all, all the characters come, like who are ancillary characters like kind of start coming alive like <laughs> I, I like the fact that once the attack goes through that the ornithologist is in that back hallway not even looking at she, anyone she's like i don't want to speak right now <laughs> my, my mind has been blown by this situation i can't even well, i have can't never even, i wonder if crows had like you know could make movies they'd make movies called the humans you know it's like there's humans hanging out bad Just people. This, yeah. they're bad for sure all right for grades sure. grades, uh, grades, grades, grades factoring grades. into the fact that there'll be a one point deduction for killing suzanne plachette uh what is your grade one out of five five only one out of five five only um this is a 10 10 this okay. is a 10 it's like a nice even 10 but wait if you're gonna take one away i'll say 11 because you're gonna then it'll drop then down to a 10, 10. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah they made you know one scary I mean? yeah, yeah they did and they made me fall in love with uh, annie and then they killed her and then they killed her that's the <sighs> one point deduction uh so for me uh i will give it 13 that's with the one point deduction from 14 uh hmm. I, you know i think it's a classic movie i really like it i like the way it looks uh it does oh, it's yeah. a you know it's a well-told story and it's a lot of fun as he said yeah uh, uh, so yeah we'll see you back on the couch mm -hmm. as we continue with hitch fest doing some hitch more hitch more hitch more hitch mm -hmm. uh, i'm oh, looking it's... forward to it uh, all right gruff, gruff voice. that's the end yes we will see you next week please like and subscribe like subscribe uh, comments, comments do the patreons, patreons do the kid comments, socials all this things and all those things and these things too uh and we'll be back uh next week next week with some kind of a hitchcock film yes Peace. deuces <laughs>